Hello and assalamu alaikum. Today I am going to start a new mini tutorial series on Next.js 13 along with Chakra UI. I am going to build a full stack mini to do app in which I will be using the technologies like I mentioned Next.js 13, Chakra UI, TypeScript, Pisma ORM, MongoDB, Formic, EAP, and all the powers of serverless functions in Next.js 13. So let's have a little quick demonstration so this is a to do app with the actually powered with the serverless functions behind the scenes along with the uh, database connectivity using prisma orm with mongodb that is hosted on uh, mongodb atlas so uh, what i'll be using is i have also created this nice little form validation so if i type anything which doesn't fulfill the validation criteria and move away from the text field this is showing this is going to show me this real time quick error and let me uh, give some valid data like to do uh, one and then anything like we can give and this shows little nice uh, loader actually to, for the better user experience so if i can uh, add another one that again is going to show up right in the list of uh, all to do's so uh, one thing to be mentioned that this is still under construction so this description part is not showing up right here the idea is that when i'll be clicking on this I'll be moving it to the next page where I'll be showing the description and the status of this to do and everything else. So apart from that, I'll be also be having uh, the edit button and the change status button right in here in the future. Right now, this delete button is working uh, fine and I'll also be updating this side by side uh, during the development of this project. So uh, apart from that, I'll uh, I also have this nice little uh, feature of Chakra UI to change the theme. So with that thing said let's jump straight into the coding and start building this exciting to do app all right so you can move to the nextjs.org slash docs and from in here you can follow this link actually to lend to the nextjs 13 documentation after actually being landed on this page you have to move to the installation section to grab the command which is obviously required to set up the basic nextjs app so let me copy this command and let me open up the windows terminal and obviously you can move to the desired directory where you want to create this project so i'm going to create this on the desktop desktop so uh, let me move to the desktop and then paste the command that you have just copied from the documentation and obviously it's going to ask a few questions that i'm going to answer so the first thing it is saying and this is uh, only for the first time if you don't uh, if you did not create the next JS app before so it is going to ask you that create next app 13.1.6 so hit y to proceed so you have to install it and after that it is going to ask me the couple of questions regarding uh, my application so what name i want to give to my application so let's say i say it my to do app and then it would ask if i want to use TypeScript. i would hit yes yes lint yes and the source directory obviously yes and then uh, I'm, I'm keeping all these options default but you can always change your preferences so uh, let's uh, it would take a little time so let's get back actually once the installation is finished let me move to the directory my to do app and then to open it in visual studio code just type the command code dot so i have opened the project inside the visual studio code so let's close this welcome screen and right inside here we have this project scaffolding of text.js 13 so if i open up the source folder i do have this app directory which is going to have all the magic so everything inside the app directory is by default going to have uh, going to be the server side components we are going to actually set up our chakra ui right inside this app directory but there is a limitation if we move all the way to the chakra ui documentation and uh, by default you are going to see this page so if i click on the get started page it is going to uh, give me the command for installation and obviously is going to tell me the setup how can i set up uh, set it up but in order to set up chakra ui with the next js 13 if you scroll down a bit you would see this nice little button click on that and it would uh, bring me to this page so this page says and obviously it gives you a couple of warnings the first and the most important thing is it says the chakra ui only works in the client side components meaning that everything that i have inside this app directory is by default a server side component so i cannot use the chakra ui in a server side component directly all i have to do is i have to actually change this from server side component to the client side component but i don't want to do that because if i am going to do so uh, i will be having the requirement to keep some of the components server side component because otherwise i'll be losing all the power of next 13 
So let me quickly uh, install this uh, Chakra UI in my next JS 13 and then I'll be describing how to configure it. So uh, just grab this command right given inside this uh, Chakra UI documentation and come here. This time I'm not going to use this Windows terminal. Rather I'll be opening up the terminal which is um, which I have actually made as default inside the Visual Studio Code terminal. So all you can do is you can just press control plus backtick key to bring this up or alternatively you can always go and in fact uh, click on this add new terminal so i have actually made uh, the git bash as my default terminal what you can do is you can always change it right from uh, from command prompt or powershell or git bash if it is installed already in your system so what i'm going to do is i have just to to paste the command that I have copied from the Chakra UI's official documentation and press the enter. It may take a little time, so let me get back once the installation of Chakra UI is finished. Alright, so I have successfully installed the Chakra UI as well in my Next.js 13 app. So next thing is if I move down all the way to the package JSON, this is going to show me the couple of commands that I can use in my Next.js 13 to perform different tasks. So for now, I am going to give this command and pm run dev actually to launch this application actually to see what is the output of my basic react app so it has uh, spinned up actually on the local server i can do what i can do is i can just press the control key from the keyboard and click on this link to just open it in the browser so here is going to be my first next js 13 app so what i have to do is i just have to actually go to the app.page.psx which is inside the app directory obviously which is inside the source to change this front little ui so what i'm going to do is just let me go to this pages directory and then inside this it's not going to into the pages rather it's in the app and then pages and let me close this little pop up and then what i have to do is i have to remove everything which is inside the main just keep one main tag i'll also be removing that tag but let me write write something in here with the p hello next 13 so if i move back this shows up uh, hello next 13 so i've cleaned everything up so let me remove the styles from here as well so i'm not going to use these styles for now let me comment them and let me comment this line as well and let me comment this line as well i'm not going to use everything yet and if in case i need to use it i'll definitely uncomment them but for now i just have to keep this very simple for the beginners to understand so now this is again a next hello next year's 13 so what i have to do is the first thing obviously we have to use the power of chakra ui with the next year's 13 so the first thing is to configure the chakra ui so that it doesn't affect the power of Next.js 13 like in fact and we will be creating a client side component and we'll be rendering that client side component inside the server side component so that we do not lose the power of server side component inside the app directory as well as we can also use the uh, chakra ui uh, to be used inside the client so what i have to do is i just have to create a single folder you don't necessarily need to create a folder it's your preference but i will do it like that so i'll be using this component folder for actually managing or organizing or placing all the components that are uh, to be commonly used across the different files so i'll be using uh like chakra js so you can give it any name uh, since it is going to be uh, in TypeScript, so it's better to give it a TSX rather than TSRJS. So I'll be creating a component with this command. So this is the simple React component if you know it already. So what I can do is I can actually import the Chakra provider from the Chakra library and let's use it right in here. So just use this chakra component and what i need to do is i have to actually give the props like just go to the layout folder let me actually make it a little readable because this kind of structure 
always confuses me so that's why let me format it up as per my requirement so just copy these props from this layout component of next year's 13 and bring them into the component uh, that you have just created and inside it again go to this and i think that is the only thing that we need and then uh, this children is to be rendered inside this so like that so i have actually made this custom component with the name chakra and obviously since we are actually using the chakra ui in the server component because i have mentioned everything inside the app directory is going to be the server side component so don't forget to actually use the directive like use client at the top to make it a client component so now this is the client component and it is using uh, this chakra base provider it's going to be you not know, chakra base provider rather let me consult with the documentation it is going to be the chakra provider not the base provider so it's chakra provider here chakra provider here and chakra provider here so <clears throat> this is going to be the client side component and i'm going to render this client side component inside the layout.tsx which is obviously the server side component and i am allowed to do so i am allowed to render the client side component inside the server side component so uh, all the pages and all the other uh, components or pages that we are going to create right inside the app directory they are going to be ultimately rendered in the layout.tsx and i'm going to actually wrap the children which is over here inside the client custom component which i have just created just to use the power of uh, the chakra ui so let me import that uh, what is called as chakra which i've just created from my own components folder and then just enclose this children inside the chakra that i have just created so and again once more um, in order to avoid the confusion uh, you can just name this component as a little more descriptive uh, so that it do doesn't conflict with other items i'm not sure if it is going to conflict or not but it's always better in fact instead of only giving it a name like chakra give it a descriptive name like chakra wrapper or chakra um, theme provider or something like that yeah chakra ui provider so you can name it whatever like we can change it if we face any error right uh, on this setup so now uh, all the power of chakra ui is uh, with your components so now if i close everything extra and just move to this particular page so let me go back and grab some chakra components so i can do what i can do is i can go to the components and i can actually pick up any of the component right from here and to use it inside our app just to see that if everything is set up correctly so let me grab the button from here so yes this is the button and all you need to do is you have to actually in order to use the button you have to import the button from the chakra ui so let's copy this line and first import the button and then uh, you can use this button right from here instead of this just to see that if we can get the power of chakra ui inside the next year's 13 so right in here so it says that you're using the chakra component inside the server component so this is the error basically just actually let me tell you whenever you face this kind of error it means that you are using the server side component like you can you can use this as a hint of like you are importing the component that needs use state and only works in client components so this page.tsx is currently the client component so in order to actually avoid this or in order to avoid this error i can actually use this use client directive at the top to make it or to make this error go away for now but that's something that ultimately i'm not going to do now this is fine and this works fine so our chakra ui has been successfully set up but this is something which should i which i should not use because the page is by default the server side component and use client directive at the top makes it a client component so it's better for me actually to create another component and make it like um, let me make it like header dot tsx and And right inside here, 
instead of using this button over here let's do it right here and then it is complaining that it is not imported and let me write this import statement also in here at the top now it is gone and now you can actually import this header inside it so the idea is keep the page component is a server component and uh, create another component which is the client side and then client uh, render the client side component inside the server side component so make sure that by default this is also a server side component so we can actually make it a client component like using use client so that it doesn't actually give the raise the complaint and then if i save it and i move back here let me import the header component right over here import header and render this header right inside here so that is going to run successfully without any error and it is giving me the power so that's pretty much it for today's video so what i've done is uh, i have told you quite a simple way there may be different approaches actually to integrate the chakra ui with the next gs 13 but this is something which i re i like so in the next years in the next uh, video i will be starting designing this header and then i'll also be creating other components along with it so thank you very much for uh, watching this video so we'll see you in the next video